welcome back to The Sesh. I'm Kendall Ray. And I am Janelle. Thank you for joining us this week on The Sesh. Yay. We're happy to have you back. Or if you're just joining us for the first time, welcome. We've been getting some new followers. Yeah, we have. And so, welcome to the shit show. <laughs> yeah. <Just kidding. laughs> Actually, I bought a banner. Where did it go? I bought this like... You bought uh, a banner for what? Yeah, that says, welcome to The Shit Show. Shut up. For The Sesh. Yeah, what? I literally bought it. I actually sent you a picture of it. You just forgot. Oh, great. Good but for me. You liked it at the time. It was like oh two months ago. Oh, I showed I it to you. I do remember that. Yeah, yes. I ordered it and then I gave it to Josh and who knows. They probably threw it out. That's a good possibility. <laughs> the amount of stuff Josh has thrown out over the years of things that were not supposed to be thrown out. Oof. It's been a lot. It's, it's been, been a lot. lot. Yeah, a lot of things. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll have to Many find things. it. But anyways, welcome back, you yes. guys. We're happy to have you guys here with us. Um, Today, we have a lot of stuff on the menu. Yeah, for this we week. do. We have a few spicy topics. Um, Yeah. Some that are pretty intense. Yeah. And I feel, we Especially, do feel yeah. that we need to give a little bit of a warning before yeah. we get into this because we know as animal lovers that stories like the one we're gonna be talking about today in the beginning are kind of heavy and mm -hmm. can be upsetting or like leave you in a bad mood and i totally get that um we'll have timestamps, of course you can yeah. like click past it mm -hmm. but we will be talking about nikki philippi hi <laughs> I don't want to say Philippi. Philippi sounds right. I thought it was Phil watch it be Philippi and the whole time I'm like, no, it's Philippi. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you would know best. Yeah, we'll get into that. Yeah, yeah. So but we're yes. going to be touching on that whole situation. I'm sure a lot of you didn't even know about it because yeah. she's not really a big YouTuber anymore. But this situation is just nuts and definitely needs to be talked about. So. Yeah. And also, we are I want to give another warning. The other story we're talking about does involve SA. Yep. And CP, which is... You can look that up. I'm going to let you guess what that is. It has something to do with children. That's not okay. Yeah, we'll be talking about Josh Duggar. Yeah. So, so if you've been keeping up with that. Definitely uh, look down into the description box for the timestamps mm -hmm. if you choose not to do that. Because we're also going to be reading some Are You the Asshole or Am I the Asshole? Oh, yeah. Um, from Reddit, which we're, we did before and it went really well. It was fun mm -hmm. and you guys seem to like it. So mm -hmm. we're going to do it again. Yeah, and that was really fun. And we only did a of them yeah we only time. did a few of them so we're gonna really dive in today <laughs> i'm excited for these i know but yeah uh we also want to thank our sponsors modern fertility tushy and function of beauty thank you guys uh should we go ahead and get into our first spicy sorry we don't have our um soundboard today oh yeah it's... oh and people were upset that last week we didn't do our like check-ins oh how... right. i know you're right okay no we need to do our check-in thank you for reminding Which, me so we I'm may not have myself. anything to say some weeks guys that's why we may not do it every week true but when there's something useful to talk yeah, about we have interesting some useful things to talk about is some there anything have happened useful in your life well on? not necessarily <laughs> necessarily useful but um you know i hey i got the second vaccine that's useful yes that I'm is, fully vaccinated. So did you. I got it this morning. I did. I got the little Modernski number two. Woo! It's very exciting. I got mine last uh, Saturday and then I also moved that day. <laughs> so that was really fun. And ironically, I felt totally fine that day. And I was like, maybe I'm just the lucky one that like yeah. won't get sick. And then I went to bed and woke up at 2 a.m. And it felt like I got hit by a fucking truck. That's what a lot of people are reporting. Like during the night, it'll hit you. Yeah, was I'm kind of scared fun. for tonight. Yeah, I'm fine as of now. Yeah, but who knows? yeah, it's not fun, but uh, worth totally it. worth it. I feel great now, and I'm protected. Yeah, and so. we're gonna be able to travel soon. I'm so excited. That's really cool. I'm really excited. Really exciting. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. My move was stressful, but it's done now. You know, moving's always stressful. Mm -hmm. Took a little while for the dogs and then moving all yes. her plants we had to like yeah. you know do some plant upkeep yep. you can't move them if they have any like crusties on yeah, them you had to like kill all, get all that yeah shit off there. i had a few that i was like really holding on to that were great in the summer and then i brought them in and you know how it is when you bring plants in yeah. and it's like they never they never thrive as much mm -hmm. and we're in colorado so we can't put them outside all year long and i had them in my house all winter and kendall came home and she was like these these are dead they need to go in the trash and i was like no no we just need to put them outside and give them water she's like no nope, yeah. these are dead janelle tries to hang on to things for as long as she possibly can and like be in denial about things that have died and i have to go over there and sometimes it is a plant graveyard guys like one time a few months ago okay, i'm sorry dramatic. i have to tell a the truth graveyard. it's true even john, I have a lot john of was looking at me okay, like john's yeah, just a thanks, hater kendall. though no, he's not. You had like several, you had at least six dead ass no, plants, like okay, fully well, dead. No way they're coming back. It like wasn't six, it was like three. No, girl, it was and a lot And one of them, I'm pretty sure you killed and it wasn't even dead yet. You made me throw it out and I'm pretty sure you would have survived. Dude, if these, <laughs> 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 they 
they're never going to come back to their like full extent. Maybe you'll get like one green leaf back. Sometimes you just got to let go because then the, the bugs will like have, live in it. But I have healthy plants. You saw my, they're, th- they're sitting out. They're doing good. No, you do. Plants. You have some, but you refuse to God. get rid of the dead ones. And yeah, I'm not do. hating because I kill plants all the time. I, I just throw true. them out like no problem. That, yeah, that's but true. But you like to I keep them it. and pretend they're still alive as long as you can. <laughs> That's so they true. just get bugs. That's the problem. Yeah. That's John. That's why John's like, get rid of him because bugs be flying around those little stupid gnats. I know. I had to do some neem fuck. oil treatments this morning. Yeah. I bought some neem oil because I haven't done a treatment in a while and yeah. that shit smells bad, but it's oh, worse. It is the worst. If you've never smelled neem oil, it oh my is God, the it's absolute like worst. Butthole of the world. <laughs> it's just <disgusting. laughs> really it is butthole of the world. Absolutely. Like it's, it's really bad. It smells nice. It smells like baby diary <laughs> literally so baby bottle. sick it's, it's so, so nasty <laughs> it's really gross. but it, but it works, works. <laughs> <laughs> anyways we're very passionate about plants can you yeah, tell i don't think i have anything else to say I, people always want like a personal update yeah, i don't what, really have anything for yourself mm, not really got how the was vaccine. your how was your birthday uh it was good oh i got my eyebrows tattooed on oh that yeah cool. they look great got microblading that's awesome that's the latest really in my good. life thanks that's yeah. it though <laughs> vaccine microblade yep i got a fountain today i was excited about that oh yeah that fountain's very cute Thanks. yeah i really like that <laughs> so yeah that's about <laughs> as exciting as my life gets oh, but let's God. get into nikki philippi philippi fuck <laughs> i'm gonna do that the whole episode maybe it is philippi i didn't I bother was- i didn't bother to actually confirm because i'm like you know what Whatever. that's at least my worries right now <laughs> seriously she doesn't even deserve it this whole thing is so upsetting and yeah. absolutely absurd mm, um yeah. okay so nikki philby philippi <laughs> i'm sorry philippi i'm just gonna say nikki. nikki nikki has a like a vlog channel YouTube she started channel. as a beauty guru type situation like, she's been on like 10 years yeah and we both followed her at least like 10 years ago yeah i was watched her a long time yeah me too. And like before I was even on YouTube, I was watching yeah, Nikki yeah. Um, and a bunch of other, you know, beauty gurus at the time. And then her channel has developed more into like a vlog channel. Like vlog lifestyle, like cooking, gardening. She calls it like homesteading. So you have like stayed kind of, yeah. she's stayed on your subscription feed all these years. I, yeah, she stayed on my sub feed all these years and her videos are like extremely aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> like, I'm, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the way she films herself, at least in my really? opinion, like, because she does things that I'm like interested in. Like she films cooking. I like to cook um, plants mm-hmm. and like she has chickens that I think are cute. <laughs> and so I'm like, oh, it's fun to watch. But yeah, so I've like kind of kept up with her. I certainly do not agree with uh, all of, you know, her beliefs and choices and stuff to any extent but i do like her aesthetic of her videos Mm -hmm. so i've kind of kept up with her and like no i feel like i know a decent amount about her life more than like most of the internet because she has a decent amount of subscribers but i think like she doesn't she doesn't get too many views anymore i think she's kind of like you know kind of been more low-key and under the radar and like um her channel's pretty dead i'll just say that oh like, okay there it is um <laughs> God, i was gonna say we're gonna say that i don't know well i think we should just say it because it's it's pretty crazy like she has 1.3 million subscribers but like it's yeah, around she, like 18 to thirty thousand views yeah. on average yeah exactly so um, i think the people who are watching her are like people who've been watching her forever mm-hmm. i don't think she's getting many like new people no. No, no, no. subscribing to her watching her a lot of people hadn't heard of her before this exactly. kind of broke out but i it. have no, like i know i feel yeah. like a lot about her and so. you knew about this like 15 minutes yes, after they posted i it, huh? literally was just on instagram and saw that she posts so she posts this picture on may 3rd and it's okay. this instagram p- picture and it's a bunch it's like of them it's her and her dog so it's about her and her dog and the caption says mctrousen i'm so grateful for our, our time with you you were a mini horse, a shark, a bear, a mouse, a dinosaur, and Dan's best friend all in one. Dan is her husband. Mm-hmm. You made me laugh. You made me cry. You destroyed our property. And you also kept it safe, LOL. You kept me feeling safe. Bowser was the ultimate cuddle bug, but you couldn't necessarily know um, if you had just dropped by our house. He acted crazy. And then she kind of goes into basically what happened is they had an incident where she became like the dog became, I guess, violent with the kid and like bit the kid or snapped at the kid. Well, she didn't explain that in the Instagram post, right? Because that's what she posted she, at first. Well, she, yeah, she didn't, yeah, she didn't explain in the Instagram post. She was like, mm-hmm. it's very sad though. Like he has an aggressive side to him and we ultimately had to make the decision to put him down. 
that was the gist. And then she was like, stay tuned because I'm going to be posting a YouTube video tonight. So when I was on there, I saw it and it had just been posted on Instagram like 15 minutes before. And I was like, damn, this is going to pop the fuck off. Like people are already like, what yeah. on earth? Mm -hmm. And then that video came out. And then the next day on Twitter, it was like, everyone was talking about her all yeah. of a sudden. I was like, damn, yep. she I hasn't know. gotten this much attention. <laughs> Which a lot of people were like, did she kind of know posting this? Because it's almost like, why would you even post this? It's the craziest thing. But can we just go over the footage um, that we have of her video? Let's kind of react to it yeah. so people can see. But yes, we are going to be talking about a dog who was put down by this couple for being aggressive in general mm -hmm. and then especially aggressive towards their child mm -hmm. who um, got in its space and like tried to take food yeah, or something or a the bone. kid took like some food and then it, i think the dog is like a little bit territorial mm -hmm. with food they've also mentioned that he had like behavioral problems in the past like he was like not great with other people and not great on walks and not great with other dogs and so mm -hmm. it was like always kind of concerning i guess what kind of what he's a bull terrier a bull terrier okay they're and I, really cute. i don't know anything about this. they're so cute they're like the target dogs they are oh that is what it's from yes and from Toy Story, right? Oh, yes. There's one in Toy Story. Yeah. yeah. But I guess they're also like really, really strong. I don't think they're like, I don't, I don't really believe that like there's mean breeds out there. So, mm -hmm. but I think they're very strong and like, I think it's about how you train. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, um, but they've had this dog for a really long time. Yeah, and like nine it looks years. like from a puppy, at least Dan yeah. had him. Yeah. Cause they have pictures of him as a puppy. Yeah. So it's definitely like hmm, e. when you get at a dog that naturally has these instincts, you've got to have training as part of your plan, right? 100%. Um, or it ends up like this. Yeah. Well, it didn't have to end up like this. Yeah. It's really sad. Um, but okay. Let's go ahead and react before we share any more of our thoughts yeah. to her video. <laughs> For those of you who know him or have been around him, he's, he's an angel. But, you know, he likes to get rowdy and that's part of the reason why I liked him. Uh, you know, one of the things that I liked about him, but, um, you know, for many, many years, for most of his life, he was he, an extremely dangerous animal outside the walls of my house. So he was definitely an outside animal that I had to keep inside. Well, and so, Bowser was attacked when he was a puppy, and we never really talked about that very much, but that was like a... That was a big turning point in Bowser's personality. So prior to the attack, <clears throat> Bowser could go to dog parks. Bowser was just calmer in general. And then after the attack, it just triggered something in him. And he was attacked by another bull terrier, actually my parents' old bull terrier. Um, but it's, it's, it's something that can happen with the breed. And so ever since then, things really took a turn. Well, I mean, I don't need to get, I'm, there's been multiple instances, um, but, um, you know, we've could have, we could have put Bowser down uh, a really, really long time ago uh, and several times and uh, just been putting the day off. E. That what? Like, okay, so he's had been having behavioral problems for, like, a long time, it seems, because he got attacked. Like, mm -hmm. okay, so why are we not taking steps to, like, work with the mm -hmm. dog? Find it. There's trainers. There's people who specialize in aggressive oh, dogs. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And there's plenty of people that would have just taken mm -hmm. this dog off of your hands. There's plenty of people that, like I said, specialize with breeds that are mm -hmm. more aggressive and know how to work with them and train them. Exactly. So you should not have put him down years ago. And... Oh, so strange it's because so they weird. tried to say they tried to like make it sound like because he's so old they get in later in the video yeah, yeah. that they did call the humane society yeah. and she someone at the humane society one person that they talked to which it could have just been a volunteer who, who knows? knows like tons of people at work i mean they may not even gone on who knows yeah anyway this person told them that rehoming bowser their dog was not an option because they'd had him for too long because he was too old. So that's what they tried to like they make like, it sound basically like. Basically like if you rehome him and then he attacks someone else, even when he's rehomed, because yeah. you were the original owners, you're still responsible for it. Which I don't even know if that's true. Like I'm sure you could get I some legal papers drawn up. I do not understand how that's true. Mm -mm -mm. I don't think, I mean, I don't, I really don't know the details about it, so I can't speak on it too much, but I imagine you could get some type of legal paper because, drawn up like, that says like, okay, now it's officially not my dog. Right? Yeah. Well, like I Not just expensive when you adopt a dog. It's like like when I got Charlie, they were like, hi, like no guarantee anything based like he has had a rough life in this. Mm -hmm. So this is a like this isn't an adopted. This comes from a family. So I can't imagine them being like, 
Like, I, I don't think I could go back to where I got him and sue them if Charlie all of a sudden, like, no. bit someone. You well, know what I mean? You signed something when you exactly. adopted so him. So I'm sure that, that they could have drawn the happen. same thing. Right. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. But they said that this woman told them that it wasn't an option because he was too old. old. But then here they are saying, we thought about doing this years yeah. ago. So, so clearly the age thing isn't even an issue. And you guys should have done something about this a lot a sooner. Lot, it sounds a like. lot sooner. Yeah. So then they like go on and talk about how they have, because they have two dogs and one the other little dog is a Yorkie. And I guess there's been times where this other dog has even drawn blood from the Yorkie and she's had to been be stitched up a few Sorry times you can and hear stuff. my dogs in the back <laughs> <laughs> they're mad <laughs> they're outside um but and so i don't know they just i feel like they're kind of just tr- I, I, they said like ultimately they had to make the decision to put the dog down and have someone come into their home which is just a straight up lie and anyone that works in this i just feel they're just people that are familiar that. with animals well the know. other thing that blows my mind is that you have a million people following you you don't think you could <laughs> right? be like hi i have a really bad problem yeah. like my dog's aggressive towards my kid and i don't mm-hmm. think i could keep it what should i do what are my options can anyone, anyone take anyone it out like, there who can help please yeah. like mm-hmm. i don't obviously i want him to go to a good place and make sure he's okay like i'm sure you could have figured it out i think that's why people are so pissed like really yeah you don't you act had like, you ha- like you you made that decision I know it's it's so sick and they're the way that they do this video is so strange they seem so like normal about it Mm -hmm. like he seems a lot more emotional but she seems very like clearly on the defense a little bit like she knew she'd probably get shit for this oh yeah well even on her instagram she was like i want to make it clear that on the video like anyone who has any criticism will be blocked i'm like oh girl oh you don't even know what's coming for you will not keep up with that the amount of people you're gonna need to block because (laughs) yeah who was it jeffrey star someone tweeted at her today yeah and called her the nasty word what did he call her (laughs) called her a c word i don't know if we can even say it on youtube i don't think you can a bunt a bunt (laughs) called her a bunt a bunt but Um, yeah you know um, what hey i was like this is pretty disgusting it's pretty bad it's really really sad and people are having petitions to have her channel demonetized to have her unverified from youtube and instagram and we were just saying like you don't you watch them so oh yeah you don't think he even has a job no this is as far as you know no he doesn't no i know he doesn't um like i don't i mean i'm pretty positive he doesn't have like a second income as far as i know i'm pretty sure they rely on their channel like on yeah. this channel and sponsorships and stuff and people are reaching out to their sponsors now i'm like oh and when janelle said that this morning i was like how is that even possible because they're like barely getting any views like this is really yeah. like the, but both I think- of their careers so i was like well does she do mlm yeah oh and yeah and <laughs> yes. i was like yeah yeah she she's does. part of young living so that's a huge part of her income as well um which is not surprising a lot of smaller channels do that yeah but i don't know it's like it's honestly crazy that she posted this i can't believe like did you really think you were gonna get any sort of reaction other than this one i know that's why it almost feels like maybe she felt like because her channel was kind of losing views that this was something to like and it was that's what's most aggravating is she posted this to so many people and who knows who could be out there with an aggressive dog that this could be the thing that's like oh i should just put them down yeah like, that's what nikki did so well yeah and i think it's also i don't know i think there's a lot of like other things that like she has beliefs that i feel go directly against doing what she did and it's like that's very true. hypocritical in a lot point. of senses so yep. i'll just say well, that she even said in the video that like she believes her that god creates all creatures and mm-hmm. bowser was created by god mm-hmm. and then yeah okay, she said that she was so... literally thanking god when when the dog was being put down she was hugging him and thanking god for like a, bringing Bowser and I'm like, but it was a, it was a beautiful, perfect ending in our living room, in our arms, um, calm, able to hug him and kiss him and hold him and thank him. You know, I just spent time hugging him and it was kind of a combination of like telling him how I felt and how grateful I was to him for all those years combined with kind of like prayer to God and thanking God, you know, for, for giving us this time with him. You already know how I feel. Like I think everything is created by God. I think that creation is so beautiful and Bowser was so unique and special and perfect for our family. And, you know, we didn't, we didn't have kids for what, how many years of our marriage? 11, 12 years of our marriage. So Bowser really was like, he was our kid in our kidless years. 
Um, we, have a, we have a large chapter with him and we're just so grateful to God for allowing us to have him and love him and hold him and care for him and for making us feel safe and protected and all the laughter and I just think that's weird that like, okay, well then why are you making the decision of when Bowser's yeah, life ends? Exactly. The the right decision would have been anything other than this. Anything. And a lot of people brought up, you know, how did you get a vet vet to do this, which I don't know how common it is, I, but this was I like exactly. a at home service that they paid money for it wasn't even like a veterinarian. Yeah, well so. they were like, We didn't want to bring him into the vet and like have him be super mm -hmm. like anxious because i guess out yeah. of the house he was like a very like wild and like somewhat aggressive dog outside the house they were like we didn't want that to be like his last memories or whatever but and i was not like, many vets will do this though i'm sure they would have trouble especially in california yeah is that I, where she lives yeah uh no she lives in tennessee oh well maybe i don't know yeah uh, yeah she's in nashville but yeah it's uh really sad well they definitely deserve all the backlash they're getting and i hope they just like get off the internet at this point because dude yeah well that, they're I mean, getting a lot yeah, of shit so. they're gonna be i don't know Houts land now. i was gonna say this is really bad i don't yeah. know what you were thinking why would you have made that video oh, and then the worst part they did a fucking photo shoot with the dog yeah. it looks like the day before he died or maybe the day he died yeah and they took like pictures with him outside. And the, the thing is, though, like one of the pictures, the their kid is standing yeah. next to the dog. Oh, it's so sick. It's so, so like, weird looking at those photos and like the yeah. dog has no idea. Oh, the whole thing is so gross. Yeah, it's very weird. Oh, and then what's uh, what's also fucking creepy is uh, at one point, Dan, the husband, put in his Instagram oh, bio, yeah. dog killer. And dog then murderer. In, oh, dog murderer. And then in parentheses, allegedly when i first saw that i thought it was photoshopped because i was like That's he seems so too. sad in the video that why would he why would make he a joke like that? that god idiot he took it out immediately after it's he got ridiculous shit, but it was up for a little while but then oh my god he's just oh like god he also has been like responding to comments on instagram one of them so fucking cringy someone says i'm in shock to have a dog for nine years and euthanize him because it got too it got to be too much or complicated or whatever the reason is there You're are safe. options my yep. heart breaks for your pup he deserved better and dan comes back and says does your husband know you are using the internet <gasps> what <laughs> are you fucking kidding me oh yeah you didn't what know a piece of shit and i was like whoa oh my god bad. does your husband know you're oh that's scary yeah, that's bad. scary bad bad but, oh my god what a controlling manipulative type of person yeah ben oh is. and nikki liked the tweet oh or the response or whatever, and you've yeah. like always kind of had bad vibes about him yeah bad vibes well mm. i just i don't know they're like they're like not into wearing masks and like i'm sorry but like can we fucking wear a mask like, i don't know it's what, not that hard I, it's like not that hard i don't know what to say like i think it's yeah so well, whatever that has nothing to do with this but mm -hmm. it's just like <sighs> this is so bad and yeah I can't believe they fucking did that. Well, I'm glad that people are reacting the way that they did because when I first saw it, it was kind of mixed. I don't think, I think people felt kind of bad for them because you naturally feel bad for anyone who just lost a pet and yeah. they're like crying in it. Yeah. And like, I think That's a lot what of people I thought did feel sympathy read, I was for like, them. Oh my God, they lost Bowser. No, That's I was I like so too. sad. And then I read, I was like, oh my God, wait, what? Yeah. I was like, they put him down. Was, so weird. I was so shook it's when so I fucking weird. saw it. Yeah. so it's very yeah, odd very very sad and rest in peace to that little doggo i feel just so sad like what the fuck i know they should have to i wonder if they're gonna like try to make an apology or like say anything i or mean just disappear I well she know. she just privated her instagram we just checked yeah because i'm sure she's not expecting the amount of attention she's getting like on twitter oh, it's I'm, insane yeah. like death noodles is talking about like the people and she was like under the radar that's what i'm saying like she was not yeah in the spotlight small. at all mm -hmm. for a long it was just like her in her house with her kid megan food with her chickens whatever <laughs> so i was like yeah but anyways well that's not good one way to bring a lot of attention to your channel and it just makes yeah. me wonder if maybe she thought at all that it, it would bring some yeah attention. maybe I mean, maybe she thought it'd be like a little bit of hate but not to the point where yeah. it's like the whole internet's now talking about you and Which like i don't know how she thought that was going to be and oh, here's another really fucked up part about this. In the video, the dude actually says, we'll put a clip in oh, right now. Yeah. You know, I grew up with the movie Old Yeller and I wanted to pick Bowser up by the back of the neck and take him into the backyard and put him down right there. What the fuck? Yeah. He, 
I mean, that tells you right there. I was like, when he said that part, I, I was like, did you mean to cut this out? Like, I, I know. What the fuck? And she's like leaning mean? over on him and then her eyes get all big when he says it. I was like, damn, you guys should have taken that Stupid. out for sure. Stupid. And then, oh, that makes you definitely think that maybe he got aggressive with Bowser that day. Like, cause he's like, oh, I just want to yeah. pick him up by the back of yeah. the neck. Which I understand if like your child's at risk, obviously you want to protect your child to some degree. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, just this like is, saying, this is thinking that shit. like, it's okay to say that on the internet mm -hmm. and stuff like just really scary. Like mm -hmm. that's scary. Like, I, yeah, I get it. Like I'm sure your kid when he's hurt at all is like very upsetting, but like that doesn't mean you can just like go abuse your dog. Like your dog didn't ask for that kid. Like mm -hmm. your dog doesn't know what's going on. It's just being a dog. You need to train your dog. Yeah. And teach your kids and too, teach your kids to boundaries. respect. Animal. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Anyways, be a responsible adult. That's very uh, sad, but yeah, it really is. We'll I'll keep you guys updated if anything happens. I don't know if she'll come back. I kind of have a feeling she's going to be gone for a while. Yeah, she should. She deserves it. Yeah. Let's also talk about Josh Duggar before we get into God, this, our Am I the Asshole? This fucker. Am I the Asshole? Am I the Asshole? <laughs> <laughs> Am I the Assholes? All right. Um. Yeah, Josh Duggar. So we talked about him last week. He was arrested last week we talked about it because he was arrested for cp and now some updates have rolled in but let's do a little recap of josh in case you're not familiar with him yes please so i do not even okay really so understand yeah him. i loved this show growing up so i watched it she and i was the expert it. today i said <laughs> because she knows all about the, the philippines the, the philippines no, i'm like this look makes me look great i'm like oh yeah these people oh yeah i love these no <laughs> no you don't love them you're no, just I interested don't love them. I, oh i find 90 kids interesting i'm not yeah i love them but yeah, I do find them interesting. Okay, yeah. so Josh is the oldest of these 19 kids. It's a family. They had a show on TLC. Right. And then it got canceled in 2015 after nine seasons because Josh had a scandal involving SA. And he later admitted that he had a um, porn addiction. He was cheating on his wife. Through Ashley Madison. Through Ashley Madison. And then he also essayed five underage girls two of them being his own sisters and then Sicko. the sisters have since said they had like moved on and they've forgiven him and stuff yeah, but and still you brought that up last week too that the yeah. family kind of like moved they on they kind of moved it. on yeah and they were like they had they they were like working with some guy that was in the kind of like had the ends with the family to like mm. take care of it with them and stuff yeah. huh. so it was it's he has had a bad rep for some years now let's just say that um but anyways so he oh and then he went to like rehab and um a, like a retreat program and he wasn't even like that's what it was he wasn't talked to by like a certified counselor it was more a family friend mm. to help him that sounds like not a good idea yeah so anyways um it's him really is, sad because he has a whole family yeah and he has six girls. kids of his own exactly so, okay, fast forward now, April 29th, 2021, Josh was arrested by Homeland Security in connection to CP. So apparently back in 2019 in May, he was downloading a bunch of computer files that had CP and abuse in them. So then his files were flagged by the police and then detectives started tracing his IP address and all of that. Now these children that were involved were from ages 18 months to oh 12 my God. years. Which is like, what a freak! So disturbing. I've heard, I've read somewhere that he had up to like two hundred downloads. <gasps> oh I don't know if that's true. This is all legend. What? So a sicko, dude. yeah, it was bad. Apparently, when he was raided, Josh immediately was like, "What is this about? Has someone been downloading CP without even them informing <laughs> him of what that was going oh on?" What so a fucking idiot. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess he was later asked about like, uh, yeah, so have you seen or do you possess this? And he was like, I'd rather not answer that. Mm, and was Of like, course you would rather mm -hmm. not. Yeah. Oh, and this is crazy too. So because of his previous poor behavior, disgusting behavior, he has a program on his computer called Covenant Eyes, which is an accountability software that monitors and reports questionable internet use to his wife. So his wife's like able to monitor what's going on interesting but a, right covenant eyes i've never heard of this so this is I. if you're you can like keep track of your dude and what yeah he's doing. i guess so but apparently the app wasn't detecting anything because he had like a password protected network and was like kind of uh, going he's like on his vpn <laughs> disgusting <laughs> what a freak so yeah he pled not guilty that is so scary too because that that means like his wife could have known about it she could have seen something yeah 
if she did have this software yeah well the may family have known that he's like a danger to their kids uh some of the family members have come out and been like we just want the truth no matter what it is like we pray that like the truth comes to light and stuff like that so he wanted bail and at first he was denied um but now he is going to be released um today and he which is uh may 6th and i guess his trial is scheduled for july so they're gonna have him on an ankle monitor yeah until then Mm -hmm. wow so yeah so hopefully he's not going to be around the kids i don't know that's what we're confused about yeah does he where is he because if he's at home then maybe like the wife recording. and kids left but i don't see them doing that i don't know i don't it know it should be part of the court order that you shouldn't be around yeah maybe any children. it is i don't know let us know if you guys know but i guess he's um facing up to 40 years in prison sicko yeah damn yeah we wanted to update you guys on that one because yeah. he had just gotten arrested mm-hmm. before we record our last episode and i record my little update in bed I oh yeah like, that was cool <laughs> i liked it but like a little vibe a little home yeah, a little, sneak peek yeah, sneak you know behind the scenes <laughs> But yeah, really just disgusting. <laughs> yeah. So he is the asshole. That is for sure. Yeah, he is the asshole. Both these, Nikki and him are the asshole. They are the assholes of the week. Mm, assholes of the week. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations to you. All right. Let's go ahead and um, get into some other Am I the Asshole stories. But before we do, let's thank our first sponsors of the day. Today's episode is sponsored by Modern Fertility, which I am a big fan of. So if any of your plans in the future include trying for kids, then there's a really easy way to learn more about your body while thinking ahead. And that is the Modern Fertility at-home hormone test. The Modern Fertility hormone test is a simple at-home finger prick that unlocks tons of insight into your reproductive health, from your egg count to menopause timing and possible outcomes for egg freezing or IVF. All good things to know about if kids are in your future. All you do is do a little prick, drop a little blood on the test, and then you mail it in with the prepaid label and you'll get your personalized results in 10 days, which is really cool. Traditional testing with your doctor can cost over $1,000, but with Modern Fertility, you can get the same info for $159, which is a fraction of the price. And if you go to modernfertility.com slash sesh, you can get $20 off your test. Like I said, you'll get insight into your hormone levels, how many eggs you have, and other important fertility factors. And the results go deep into what every hormone means. And you can also talk one-on-one with a fertility nurse to review your results and options for your next steps to help you plan better. If you want kids today or maybe one day in the future, clinically sound info about your body can help you make a decision that's right for you. And right now, Modern Fertility is offering our listeners $20 off their test when you go to modernfertility.com slash sesh. That means your test will cost $139 instead of the several hundred or even a thousand plus dollars it could cost at a doctor's office. So get $20 off your fertility test when you go to modernfertility.com slash sesh. That's modernfertility.com slash sesh. Our next sponsor is Hello Tushy. Good news, ass fans. The CDC previously declared (laughs) ass eating as not COVID safe. But thanks to the aggressive vaccine rollout, we're we're approaching herd immunity. And our goal of 69% vaccination rate is coming up. So that is good news for you, ladies and gentlemen, because it's time to clean your butthole. And there's no way to, better way to do it than with the Hello Tushy Bidet. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, that really is amazing. Hello Tushy's brand new 3.0 modern bidet attachment is here to get your ass ready. It's stylish, eco-friendly, <laughs> easy to install, and even saves your cheap ass some money. <laughs> Hello Tushy 3.0 doesn't just clean your ass with precise stream of fresh water. It cleans itself too <laughs> with a smart spray automatic nozzle. That's a nice feature. I really like it's that. It's such a great feature because how gross is it if the thing that's spraying your ass <laughs> also has like ass particles in it? Not cute. You know what I mean? Not good. And the best part is <laughs> Hello Tushy attaches to your existing toilet. No electricity or extra plumbing mm-hmm. needed. Mm-hmm. Cutting toilet paper used by 80% people pays for itself in just a few months. And it's kind of nice looking. Like, dare I say, it's yeah. like aesthetically pleasing. Ooh, aesthetically it's got like pleasing. a bamboo. It does. Little turning thing cut. knob. Yeah. It's very nice. Very good. Very it's good very great. Plus, it changes the game completely. It, oh, it does. Changes the game. Especially if you're on your period still. Big that change. is the truth. It, big change. Love that for us. Curioso. <laughs> I got that. That's from Jersey Shore. That's <laughs> really so basic. Oh, plus, Hello Tushy has your ass covered with a 60-day risk-free guarantee and a 12-month warranty. So 
get ass eating season ready <laughs> and join millions of happy hello tushy customers right now and clean your butt with every flush go to hello tushy.com slash sesh to get 10 percent off plus free shipping this is a special offer for the sesh listeners so go to hello tushy.com slash sesh for 10 percent off that's hello tushy.com slash sesh okay we are back and we are ready to look at some Am I the asshole situations mm. and judge whether the person in question is an asshole or not mm -hmm. based on the given situation that they present here on Reddit. Wow. Thank yes. you for that much. Yeah. Our opinions are the only opinion that matters too, right? So it's right. it's either <laughs> we're right or we're right. <laughs> we're right or right. <laughs> so okay. Oh my God. So Corelli got yeah. these for us so that we wouldn't know about them in advance. She found the ones that she thought was funniest. And I wanted to introduce you guys to Corelli. I'm gonna have her put the camera on. On her this is Corelli hello hello you guys were confused last week because sometimes we have Sydney over there sometimes it's Corelli you guys kind of look like somewhat similar yeah like, you guys yeah, do you know. especially in passing yeah, yeah definitely yeah so Corelli so. you want to like introduce yourself <laughs> yeah I don't want to put you on the spot that's say, like super awkward she's like, like the say. first day of school <laughs> hi so. my name is Corelli <laughs> yes yeah, what's, Corelli? Your favorite, what's your favorite food and your favorite color <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so i adopted kendall's bunny um athena a few years ago now mm -hmm. and that's how we met it's been great it's been great working with you guys mm -hmm. yes i'm super happy to have you yeah. on the team yeah yeah i'm from here i'm from colorado so it's it's nice to yeah it's really convenient yeah. it is it You're is close nice by close. yeah Curly's awesome she's with us all the time and mm -hmm. then once we're in the office space the mm -hmm. studio We'll have room for both Curly and Sydney to be there every week, hopefully. Yeah, yeah we're going to turn this fun. shit up a notch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so fun. It's going to be like a party every day. Yeah, it's going to be way more fun. But yeah, we just wanted to clarify that because a lot of you guys were like, wait, Sydney? Sydney looks different. Is that Sydney? And then some of you guys were calling her Sydney. It was funny. But yeah, we they will be, I guess, until we get in the studio, it'll be like interchanging kind of. Mm -hmm. It'll be nice when yeah. we're all there. Yeah, it will be nice when we're all there. It's going to be good. Okay, all so right. I'm going to read this one. This is funny. Am I the asshole for being visibly shocked slash dumbfounded that my girlfriend, a 21 year old American, could not point out Florida on a map? Oh, no. Oh, boy. <laughs> when sitting next to my girlfriend on a plane, I was bored as fuck looking at the maps that there are that, you know, that you found in the yeah, back yeah, of the little seats, pamphlet things, little yeah. airplane magazines. And a conversation led to her revealing that she did not know where Florida was on the map. Keep in mind, she graduated from a private high school and is currently going into her senior year of college. Conversation progressed further into me finding out that she could not point out Australia either. Oh, 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 that spicy. is e. I was visibly astonished at this res revelation and essentially said, are you kidding? She immediately got defensive and called me an asshole for not for making her feel stupid. And I do feel bad for making her feel stupid. Although I feel as if my reaction to her not being educated on such elementary shit was warranted <laughs> and may even be a wake up call for her to learn some basic geography. Am I the asshole? Oh, that's a good uh, one. You know what? Okay. I kind of agree with him. Like maybe it'll motivate her to like fucking learn some stuff. <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Like, come on, Florida. Florida. I understand like not knowing where like Michigan is. I was going to say, I don't know. I couldn't, I don't think I could point out every single 50 state on the map. Really? Like oh, if, I, if it that. gave it's me like a the blank, one thing I can do. If it gave me like a blank map, like <laughs> fill it in. I could do correctly, it correctly. I could do thing. capitals probably too. Most of them. Damn. Oh, I, I remember it really well from them. Huh. Well, it's like the one thing that stuck with me. <laughs> Everything else gone. <laughs> States know it really well. <laughs> that's amazing like you could show me a like an outline of any state and i would know what it yeah, is yeah okay yeah definitely florida i okay, feel like florida yeah. is pretty obvious I even agree. people around the world like most people around the world like kind of know where florida is it's the a last lot of people. state on the bottom yeah that's true. it's, it's like, like a little yeah, it sticks someone out. that looks like a gun <laughs> that's you know? nice yeah it does it does look yeah it does people even yeah, say that there it's true it does it's true okay but australia too yeah australia i mean I can see it, but I mean, the Florida is what's really striking to me. But yeah, Australia, that's uh, that's a whole continent. That's not great. But that's, it makes me feel bad for her. Maybe she had a bad education. There's only Some seven the continents. Are really you bad. don't know one of them. You only know six of the seven continents. <laughs> or private school. She had private school. Yeah, you're right. She had private school. <laughs> yeah, she was in private school. Does that go to show that private school oh, maybe is... Oh, maybe they're off. just pushing them <laughs> along. <laughs> pushing them along. Pushing them along. <laughs> Helping them get into USC with absolutely no knowledge of the states. Mm, maybe she was on the rowing team too. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't think this guy's an asshole. That's my final judgment. I, I would say the same asshole. thing. If Josh said something like that, I'd be like, are you kidding? 
I'd be I wouldn't be able to control myself. I wouldn't be able to control myself either. But also I've had some really dumb moments with children before. That's true. I'm plenty dumb too. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, I definitely have my things, but like Florida. But it's okay. Like I don't if I'm Mm. stupid and I like if I deserve to have that response, then like it's okay. You know, like I I will admit that like I should probably know that. So Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't Mm -hmm. think he's the asshole. I don't think he's the asshole either. I don't think so. I'd be shocked as well. Good job. All right, guys, this one's titled, Am I the asshole for essentially telling my neighbor to fuck off after she asked me to stop smoking on my deck? Mm. And they go, that's pretty much it, but I'll tell you the context. (laughs) All right, so they go, this happened tonight. I went out on my back deck for a smoke. I could hear that my neighbor and, or that my next door neighbors were having some people over on their deck. There's a fence separating us, so I couldn't see them. I'm not close to my neighbors, but we've never had any problems before. So then my neighbor calls me over, to, and asked me to stop smoking because her pregnant sister was over and didn't want the secondhand smoke. My first mm-hmm. thought was, fuck no, but I politely told her that I was on my own deck and that I wanted to finish my cigarette, but to have a nice night. She gets pissed off and is all, I've dealt with secondhand smoke from you since we've moved here. I never once said anything. I never knew she had a problem with me smoking, and I honestly don't give a shit. It's my yard, and I can smoke a fucking cig if I want to. So I yell at her exactly that. <laughs> Imagine yelling that to your neighbor. This is my yard. And then she starts to yell back, but her husband tells her to shut up and they go inside. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so I stay outside, pissed AF, and finish my cigarette before I go inside and told my roommate what happened. I kind of expected her to be on my side because she's also a smoker, but she told me that I shouldn't have made a one or that I should have made a one-time mm-hmm. exception for the pregnant woman and that I acted like a bitch. I don't think it's right for her to tell me what to do with my property, but now I'm feeling kind of guilty. Not that guilty, but kind (laughs) of. Am I the asshole? Mm. So then it says, update as of this morning. My, quote, kind of guilty feeling has thankfully (laughs) subsided. I'm completely (laughs) fine with how this... With the, I'm how this I entire that. interaction went down. Thanks all with a heart. <laughs> Seems a mix of not the asshole and you are the asshole. So I'm just going to chalk it up to uh, mm. reasonable people can disagree. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. What's your personal opinion on this? Opinions? Opinions on this? On this? <laughs> um, I am not a cigarette smoker myself, but I do partake in the good old greens and so i'm trying to like put if i was in that situation Mm -hmm. it's low-key my property (laughs) i know it's kind of a hard situation because at first i think i kind of agreed with this person but then the more i thought about it i'm like it would have been the nice thing to do it would have been less of an asshole move to just be like yeah Yeah, i'll finish it later but also like they're adults too and they can just go inside exactly like, that's the other thing. wait like, till she's done and then go out your pregnant doesn't mean yeah. that now everyone has to like watch conform, out yeah. like conform to right. your needs or you whatever to protect yourself at the end of the day i understand the, the one neighbor being like can you just do it this one time which yeah. kind of would have been nice to be like yeah. yeah this one time and i think i mean if i was in this situation i know i would have just like oh yeah out. i would have been like oh yeah sorry yeah. whatever yeah. but I also been a, I think I would have been a little bit weird because if I was the pregnant one and someone was smoking, I would have not. I would have just been like, okay, whatever, I'll just go inside. Yeah, right. I like, wouldn't have asked. I would have been weird out that you're like, property. oh, you care that much, so you're gonna ask me to stop? Like, just fucking go inside and wait 15 minutes, and then they'll be done or whatever. Right. You know? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Mm. I don't um, know. I'm kind of torn. Are you the asshole? I don't think she's an asshole. I mean, but maybe I also like a little think bit she could have been nice hole. Like a nice hole. Nice, nice soul. Um, yeah. I mean, I feel like that's a little bit, like, kind of just like maybe like not so much asshole as like stubborn. Like, no, fuck you. This is my yeah. property. I wonder what her sign is. <laughs> True that. Yeah, I don't know. I would say there's a good mix of. That's what they said. The the consensus was that there was a good mix of yes and no. So I don't know. Oh, wow. I don't. Hmm. I don't think you're the asshole really. But it's kind of funny that you literally told them to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bit much that's a bit funny. much oh man okay here we go okay this one says am i the asshole for pointing out to my friends that they are not famous <laughs> <laughs> my friends are dating they're also actors who have had small roles on a few tv shows and i'm talking two lines or less i say this not to be a hater i am truly rooting for them but to give you a scope of their reach, neither of them have a following in their real life or on social media. They get under or they've got under 1,500 followers combined. 1,500? Combined, yeah. Oh. So they've each got a couple hundred to okay. make up that okay. much. Okay, okay. 
Anyway, last week I posted a group picture on Instagram of people celebrating on a friend's birthday. Everyone in their photo, everyone in the photo has got their arms around each other's shoulder. Very platonic. Anyway, yesterday in a group chat between the three of us, they asked me to take the photo down because they don't want the public to know that they're dating. I would (laughs) (laughs) I would consider it if they looked bad or sloppy drunk, but they don't. Everyone is around, has their arms around each other, not just them. So it's a platonic like group photo. Yeah, okay. So it's not even like they're making out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Anyway, (laughs) I asked them what they meant and they said they don't want to end up in the gossip rags. Shut up. (laughs) They're like, we want to have a tea spill. Duff Noodles is going to post about us. (laughs) What the fuck? (laughs) They've got a couple hundred followers each. They've had like a few lines on things. I've pointed out that they're not famous. Oh, no. And that they don't even have a functioning IMBD page. Oh, no. They were livid and called me a bunch of names. I think they're delusional and they have been texting me demanding it. And it even sent me screenshots of them reporting it. The photo. That's crazy. And at this point, I don't even want to be their friend. I won't either. That's just straight. Embarrassing. Oh, my God. Uh, however, probably because I'm an asshole, I don't want to delete it solely based on principle. I agree. Keep that shit up. <laughs> okay so so yeah it's ridiculous so what do you think are they an asshole um oh god (laughs) i don't know (laughs) i don't think so i don't think so i think people like that are assholes and need a reality check yeah seriously that is so obnoxious i would never ask someone to take and i actually am kind of famous you know i do have a following i've got more than 1500 (laughs) of a reach you know <laughs> but i've never asked someone to like take a picture down to me especially like my friends yeah i know that's so true i got a personal that's profile what so if i was like true. no don't post that ew i'd be I'm like famous fucking get a hold of yourself <laughs> kendall <laughs> that's just that's so true so embarrassing for both of them the fact that they're doing it together is even more cringy that's like so tr- yeah. it's not just one normally it's just one person that'll act like that but for them to do that together and like walk around like they're the famous oh one in the God. friend group how embarrassing i would mm. i would do the same thing and I wouldn't want to be friends with them either. Yeah, I, I don't think they're an. I don't think this person's no, an asshole. No, I don't think you're an asshole. If they, if she like snapped a secret picture of them making out, yeah. and like sold it to the tabloids, maybe yeah. that. <laughs> this that's is not like great. A friend group a shot. A friend group. Why do you care? Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh my stupid. god, that's so dramatic. Uh, wow. <sighs> Imagine that. Oh, this is interesting. There's would I be the asshole? So they like present situations, and you have to say if say if they should move forward. Oh, would you be an asshole or not? Interesting. Should we try to read yeah, one of these? Let's, okay, let's read one of these. All right. Would I be the asshole if I ask my pregnant wife to move out because she and her best friend decided to test my loyalty? Mm. Mm. Sounds spicy. <laughs> so he says, my pregnant wife is pregnant (laughs) no shit (laughs) my wife is pregnant with our daughter initially we were really happy and excited about it but then she starts acting like a nut job damn she gets angry and irritated for small things insults me when she doesn't like the food i make and starts uh, acting insecure and accuses me of losing attraction to her hmm um so hmm. for example she wants to eat a chicken sandwich (laughs) for dinner last week so i made chicken sandwiches so she eats all the sandwiches leaving me with nothing (laughs) (laughs) they told me they tasted like shit (laughs) she eats all of it that tastes like shit (laughs) i wasn't pissed because she left me nothing but if she didn't like them, why did she have to eat everything? <laughs> when I asked her this, she told me that she was hungry. So I said, okay, fine. <laughs> she does this every time, eats everything I make and then calls it shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't argue with her because I work for more than 80 hours a week. Damn. And I really want to have some peace when I get home. So yesterday, a random girl starts flirting with me at the gym and asked me if I wanted to meet her for some drinks. Uh Oh, oh no Uh-oh. i rejected her and told her that i was married when i got home my wife started to hug me and apologize when i asked her what happened she told me that her best friend suggested that uh, suggested a test of my loyalty for my loyalty so they asked a mutual friend to flirt with me and ask me out and i passed yay i'm really pissed <laughs> i'm done with her antics Ooh, would I be an asshole if I ask her to move out? Oh, damn. Oh, this is like, oh, damn, this shit. got heavy. I was going to say, this is hilarious until the end. Oh, man. Move out. I don't know. I, I mean, that's know. a pretty asshole thing to do to your fucking us. Well, yeah. I mean, you are also. <laughs> <laughs> 
she would also be kicking out your baby yeah so that's yeah kind of asshole but like she but is like, being she's not being, that she's being an asshole too yeah but she's pregnant but yeah she's pregnant. but she also is pregnant do you, do pregnant women get the pass i think they get a pass on a lot of things but i don't think you can all of a sudden just it's an excuse to be a shitty yeah. human i'm and saying that's, that's so, what she is but. josh would be so offended if i sent someone to like sh- like yeah that's him. really just he sad. would be like wow you don't trust that's me not at all. like oh i'm pregnant i did that that's like yeah that's really especially that's like some deep-rooted issues yeah, that, yeah exactly and it sounds sounds like he would just like probably break it off with her if they weren't if they weren't having a baby yeah i was gonna say if that, that's a tough situation like you I'm, already want to m- move out i wonder like now i want to know like if they got into a fight after or like if uh, things got worse or if he's like so mad and he's art automatically like asking this you know what i mean yeah i, I don't know, know. Hmm. that's a good point mm, yeah i don't think you're an asshole to ask her to move out if that's like what you really feel you need to do you know i mean you can be I mean, you, everyone's got to have a line somewhere right yeah what you can just do anything well my guess is that if my guess is that they probably didn't have like the perfect relationship before they got pregnant yeah because i, I don't She's see it. eating everything and telling him it tastes like shit <laughs> he's pissed he's had enough of this eating all the chicken sandwiches that bitch <laughs> so funny to me the chicken sandwich part kills losing like nothing i told me it tasted like shit how many did she eat she eats like 12 chicken sandwiches i have questions <laughs> i have questions too exactly can we so get this person on the know. podcast we need to yeah we need to become like jerry springer and like get <laughs> them get, on here and be in. like okay tell us walk us through what if we literally somehow figure out a way to do like live jerry springer <laughs> on the session <laughs> that would take our show to the next fucking level <laughs> the next level honestly we should think about it we should anyone want to come yeah. on and like work out your personal issues on our show for our entertainment anyone want to come on <laughs> no guarantees of anything God. don't hold us accountable but these are funny Oh, I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't yeah. think you're the asshole for a second. I don't either. Long. I think she's an asshole, kind of. Yeah, at least. But like, don't kick her out. Wait, let her have the baby and then kick her out, so that you can. I don't know. Make well, sure she has a good place to go. At does least. Does it mean like? Does when you say move out, like get the fuck out now, and I don't care where you go, or is it like okay, this isn't working. So we need to separate ourselves a, somehow. Like, yeah, because make that's sure probably, she's set up. And because stuff. like. Also, mm-hmm. it's not good for the baby if they're in like a toxic relationship and that's at true. home. That so like so if it's true. toxic, then they need to and they do need to separate. Then yeah. that's OK. Because then the baby's going to be brought into the yeah, chicken exactly. sandwich situation. The baby's like not going to have any food. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> oh <laughs> OK, so God. overall, our our assumption that they're both assholes, kind yeah, of both. Assholes. But like he's not really that much of an asshole. Yeah, at least in this context from what I can see. That's about I guess getting. he's not really an asshole, but I don't yeah, know. Almost but, kicking out your. Mm. Pre- but yeah i guess that what <laughs> what does kicking decide. out mean what is kicking out yeah, if you we, need, we need more answers before we can officially like, determine is who is the, the chicken asshole sandwich here. was the last fucking straw <laughs> get out of my house i mean the last straw though being the whole like yeah that's pretty, that's pretty that's brutal shitty. that's really shitty and yeah. that means that you were like talking to your friend behind the scenes thinking if john did that if john yeah. set me up and like sent some yeah. dude i'd be and then well, I would be so fucking offended. And then you come back home and he, he's like, oh, I'm so I'm so thankful that you didn't actually do it. It's like, yeah. why would you even say that you did that? Yeah, oh, that's that is just so true. Yeah, why would you even tell him? Why would you let it, why would Stupid. you tell him? Yeah, literally. That's a very good point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You guys are both kind of yeah. assholes, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not the guy, because he really didn't deserve that. That's so shitty. <laughs> okay. Okay, we need this. to be done <laughs> with that. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. All right, before we get into the next one, we want to thank our last sponsor for the day. So the weather has been dry all winter long. My hair is crisped. The last Crisp. six inches of my hair are like crisped and dead and just desperate for some moisture and to get, you know, ready for the spring and summer when the weather changes. My hair definitely has a little bit of a break from that like dry, disgusting, cold winter month. It's like water. Yeah, water. <laughs> so we've all got hair goals, whether it's, you know, to have healthier hair or to have shinier hair or to have less split ends or to have uh, less of an oily scalp even. That's one of my goals. And Function of Beauty can definitely help you achieve these things. Function of Beauty is the world leader in customizable beauty, offering precise formulations for your hair specific needs. First, you just take a quick quiz and it's very thorough as well. And you tell them a little bit about your hair type and your hair goals, such as lengthening, volumizing, or oil control. And because your hair changes with the seasons, like I said, you get to change your hair goals before every shipment. 
Next, you choose your color and your fragrance, or you can go fragrance and dye free if you want. And then Function's team determines the perfect blend of ingredients, bottles your formula, and delivers it right to you. Every ingredient Function of Beauty uses is vegan and cruelty-free, and they never use sulfates or parabens. And you can also go completely silicone-free. There are over 54 trillion possible formulations, and Function of Beauty has over real 50,000 five-star reviews. I'm obsessed with the way that their uh, hair products smell. I use the eucalyptus scent and it's so good and like minty and wakes you up. I like the feeling of it a lot. So never buy off the shelf just to be disappointed ever again. Go to functionofbeauty.com slash sesh to take your quiz and save 20% on your first order. That applies to their full range of customized hair, skin, and body products. Go to functionofbeauty.com slash sesh to let them know we sent you and get 20% off your order. Functionofbeauty.com slash sesh. All right, next up, am I the asshole for kicking my cousin off my sister's wedding Zoom call? Boy, wedding Zoom call. Damn. Jeez. My older sister and her fiance were planning for over a year for their wedding to be this month. Obviously, they can't have the wedding as planned, uh, but they still would like to get married. And so they decided on a Zoom wedding where all of their friends and family would just call in to watch the officiant, my sister and her fiance. Wow. Damn. So my sister didn't want to be in charge of hosting the Zoom call because she thought it would stress her out. So she asked if I could help and I gladly accepted. She and her fiance decided to invite everyone they originally wanted to. And it was a very big list. When we were going over the list, my sister mentioned to me that she wanted everyone else to be muted for the majority of the wedding as she was worried that others would talk over her and her fiance and they would, you know, overshadow their big day. I could see how someone would think they're muted and like accidentally talk. Yeah, yeah. 100% or like have their dog barking easily. or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. However, her and her fiance said that I should unmute everyone at one point so everyone could talk and have a nice time with each other. That's got to be really hard. <laughs> yeah, that's stressful. So fast forward to the day of the wedding. Everyone is muted during the ceremony, which goes great. And so then I unmute everyone and ask to please raise a hand if they'd like to talk so it doesn't get too confusing. My cousin, who's around my age, starts waving his hand crazily. And he's with his longtime girlfriend, also similar in age. Which this person said that they're 27. Yeah. So they're all around that age. Exactly. So he's a very gregarious guy. And a I was very not what? Su- gregarious. Gregarious. He is a very Ooh. gregarious guy. So he learned a new so word. I guess day. We, he was not surprised that he wanted to speak. Okay. Um, then he says stuff like, my sister and her husband are such an inspiration. It's given me the courage to do this. Then turns oh, to his girlfriend no. and pulls out a box the size of an engagement ring box. I immediately saw this as him trying to steal the spotlight, something that he's done since we were uh, since we were kids. Example, he would secretly mess up my sister and I's drawings if the adults would praise ours. <laughs> oh, my God. And booted him off the call. Okay, so she kicked him off the call. Oh, wow. Then I quickly announced that my cousin had technical difficulties and would not be joining again. (laughs) Everyone else accepted this and went on about talking. And my sister and her husband did too. The the rest of the wedding went smoothly, except for the fact that my cousin kept texting me angrily saying that he finally wanted to propose as a surprise with family all around and ruined it. My aunt and uncle texted me the same thing. Am I the asshole? Interesting. Okay. Well, it is kind of weird that he just like cut him off. Yeah. Like, he's like, I have something to say, and then immediately does it. And he's known for taking the spotlight, but then, yeah, you just seriously just cut their cord, basically. Yeah, I mean, in the middle of their proposal, because that kind of ruined their thing. But at the same time, you are protecting your sister, and I get it. Like, your own sister comes first, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's, like, known for doing this kind of, that's kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. But you could have just, like, let him finish it and then, like, moved on and, or like, muted him, him after like, that. Yeah. To just, like, be like, nope, done. <laughs> in the middle of proposal. <laughs> pull the plug immediately. Yeah, that's honestly kind of a, savage, a little savage And yeah. then lie about it. I don't it. know if they're fully <laughs> Do you what? And then he lied about it. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah true. exactly. Like, oh, technically, yeah. not, they will not be coming back. I bet he told his sister, though, because I'm sure, well maybe mm. what if it's like no one knows <laughs> no i'm sure now because i bet the cousin was like telling the whole family afterwards like he literally cut me off well he probably tried to get back in and he like couldn't yeah oh that's Ooh. a little awkward but i don't know like that is really obnoxious but but a lot of people do that at weddings yeah, so, like that's I like know. a thing people just don't realize that it's like kind of, and some people are fine with it yeah. happening at their wedding yeah but yeah it's a bit much to just like on the zoom call that's so funny to me it's kind of like I would feel bad because it's like, OK, obviously your Zoom call wedding is not your first choice. Like, right. We're doing this because of COVID. Like we would have rather yeah. have it in person. So it's kind of rude to be like on they, top of that. Yeah, exactly. On top of that. Like they already have to kind of compromise. Yeah. 
and then to have this. You totally get that. It's their moment. They get this like small have, moment. They can have made like a like a movie night, like a Zoom family movie night. Yeah, yeah. Was there. That's so yeah. true. Mm-hmm. That's so. Well, true. I try to steal the spotlight from already like in a really awkward, yeah situation. Yeah, I, I don't agree. think this person's an asshole. No, I don't think so either. You got to make a quick judgment. Yeah, quick. That's the other thing. It's like I'm sure you were panicking in the moment. You're like, oh, yeah. I just got to do it quick. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Plus, I mean, her sister or their sister was like basically saying, you know, oh, it's a good idea to mute, to mute everyone because we don't want to like take away from the spotlight yeah. of them and stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, you're she was put he was put in charge. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Got to do what you got to do. Got to do what you got to do. All right. This one says, am I the asshole for not saying anything about the underwear? My 20 year old daughter and her fiance are currently staying with us. I love my daughter, but she is very difficult and I can't stand her fiance. I gave them a deadline to move out because I can't take this anymore. They got into a massive fight the other day while my wife was out. I guess a pair of my wife's underwear got in with their laundry and she thought he was cheating. Okay. I think the fact that she immediately jumped to cheating shows how bad their relationship yeah. is. Yeah. Especially when you're living in your mom's house and it's literally your mom's underwear. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. So she was waving the underwear around and I recognize them because they have a floral pl- print, but I just let this ridiculous fight go on. <laughs> my wife came home about 30 minutes later and said that they were hers. My wife asked if I didn't realize they were hers and I accidentally laughed. <sighs> my daughter burst into tears and won't talk to me. Wow. Because she, she he knew the whole time. Yeah. Because he knew the whole time. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I would just let it go too. Yeah, I agree. Her fiance said we're fucked and left the house, <laughs> but my wife thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it's kind of funny. I do too. Uh, I don't think he's the asshole. Plus, if you can't stand the fiance, then like, why not fuck with them a little? And they're staying in your house. Oh, it's her daughter. Oh, his daughter yeah. and her fiance. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So it's like. So the fiance found the underwear he, and got mad. Yeah. No, the, no, the daughter, daughter found it and thought <laughs> the fiance was cheating. But in reality, it's the daughter's fucking mom's underwear. <laughs> That's so bad. So, no, he is not the asshole. I would let them go on that stupid shit yeah oh all like day. i'd yeah. film it too yeah <laughs> seriously funny as fuck. no they're idiots why like get involved in that for whatever. being that afraid like i feel like if you're living with a bunch of people and you like find someone's particle of clothing that's not yours i feel like i don't know the first thing i wouldn't go to is like oh they're cheating yeah but if you do then yeah it says something about your relationship mm. i think it really does too especially when you're in your parents house like, yeah come on yeah exactly you can't think of other places that could have come from <laughs> exactly 100 <laughs> percent. yeah <laughs> All right, next up, am I the asshole for telling my son he deserved his girlfriend breaking up with him? So my son had a long distance girlfriend recently for about two years. She was great, a really nice girl, and we all loved her and welcomed her with open arms. She was flying here consistently or constantly to visit him like a weekend, a month, and he didn't lift a finger to go visit her. Ah, one very one way. Mm. I tried to talk to him about it several times and told him he should really start looking into flying over to her instead of expecting her to do all the traveling. And he said no. My (laughs) wife probably had something to do with it as she constantly told him she was afraid of him flying. Ah, interesting. Oh, afraid of him 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 flying. I spoke to them both and said this girl is great for him. She was willing to move over to our country too, but said there was one condition and that he... And that was he'd have to fly over to her country too, which is fair. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. Like, okay, if I'm gonna move all the way over, at least come to my country at least once, maybe like to help me or Meet something. Meet my family. Or Meet my family yeah. yeah. See my life. He said no. He didn't want to fly or travel anywhere. My son was becoming lazier and lazier. Eventually, telling his girlfriend and us that he was perfectly fine, never traveling anywhere, including mm. holidays, etc. Sounds like a fun guy. Last week, he told us she dumped him. I went on her <laughs> Facebook page as we're all still friends. She wrote us an apology letter about how upset she is that it didn't work out, um, but that these things happen, so we're on good terms. And looks like she's with a new guy already. Me and my wife have no doubt she was seeing him while still in relationship with my son. I confess to them both that I actually agree with her decision, and he should have expected it. He did not treat her properly, and I hope he learns lessons for next time because he needs to make more of an effort for the next relationship he's in. 
So I said he deserves this for his lack of effort in the relationship and for essentially just allowing this girl to spend all their money and time coming here all the time. And she's wondering if she's the asshole? The dad. No, the dad. So the wife wife and son are very upset that I said this. Oh, so, the dad said this. Yeah. So <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry to keep track of what's going on here. I know, I know. Uh, and the wife says that I'm being horrible. I stand by what I said. Am I the asshole? No, I don't think I don't think you're asshole. the asshole. I'm, I agree. Uh, I do too. Relationships a two way street. Definitely. So you gotta fucking make some effort, especially if she's re- willing to move countries to your country. And what, you need to baby your son that yeah, much. Yeah, seriously. That, like, have to, I mean, God, tell him the truth. Yeah. And we'll do him a favor for the next situation. Like, I totally agree. Learn something from it. I Aren't your parents your supposed to teach asshole. you how to be a good guy? Yeah, your son's the asshole for sure. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely the asshole. No, that was an easy one. Well, I'm glad she got. On, with someone on. better it sounds like <laughs> sounds, sounds, sounds <laughs> like even the dad's happy for her, it sounds like okay the final one says am i the asshole for telling my stepdaughter to stop using period products in the bathrooms that she shares with my teenage son oh, in the bathroom no. i don't know if i'm gonna like this yeah i don't think you're gonna like this <laughs> i have been living with my new wife and stepdaughter for about six months now so this is a guy who told her this mm. my wife Oh, okay. So it's the guy and son. Maybe, maybe. Okay, we don't know. Okay, she's yeah, stepbrothers. Step. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's who's. That's wow. Right okay. Okay. okay, so she's nineteen, almost twenty, and I have three sons, aged eighteen, sixteen, and fifteen. She's a really good kid, and she's a in- good influence on my sons. I really enjoy having her around. My wife and her daughter moved into my house and sold theirs. My stepdaughter's father isn't present in her life, nor is my son's mother. All four children share a bathroom. My sons have never lived for a long period of time with a woman, nor have any of them had long-term girlfriends. They've had short visitation periods when they were younger, but never longer than an hour. So living with two women has been been unusual for them. Mm -hmm. My eldest son, 18, came to me last week and said that his stepdaughter disposes of her used sanitary products in the trash. Where else is she supposed to put Yeah, them? what the fuck? <laughs> and they share this trash can, but she doesn't use a toilet roll or sandwich bags <laughs> to disguise sandwich what they are. Sandwich bags? <laughs> to disguise them? What's that going to do? They're literally clear. Who puts a tampon in a Ziploc sandwich bag? <laughs> I've and never them. heard of anyone doing that. That's such a waste. <laughs> yeah, fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> but she doesn't like put like used to- like, toilet like, paper wrap over it. Up it. Or anything? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. To disguise what they are. Right. And it makes my sons uncomfortable, which I think is reasonable. My sons are teenage boys and they don't want to see their stepsister's period products on full display. Well, tough titties. <laughs> That's what I'm fucking saying. A few nights ago, I went into the kitchen to grab a snack and she was there doing some work for university. My wife had mentioned that she knew that she was on her period. So I took it as an opportunity to have a word with her. Oh my God, you are the asshole for sure. Oh my God. I told her my sons were very uncomfortable and asked if she'd mind putting her used products in diaper bags or flushing them down the toilet instead. She's probably trying to make sure that your toilet doesn't get clogged because maybe they have older toilets. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. She laughed and told me that it was rich coming from a man who sheds like a gorilla <laughs> and has produced three skid marking sons. <laughs> Which I thought was just an unnecessary attack. <laughs> that's amazing. Skid that's a sons. great response. Oh my god, it's amazing. I've been nothing but nice to the girl. And she had and it's hardly a comparison. My son shouldn't have to be subjected to her unhygienic products if it makes them uncomfortable. She went on to lecture me about how tampons can't be flushed and that it's bad for the environment if she uses diaper bags for everyone. (laughs) But I think it's just an excuse. No, it literally is very bad for the environment. I called her a scruff. What? And told her this was my house, so what I say goes. Ooh, you're You're definitely definitely the the asshole. I later asked my wife if she could have a word with her and she told me that I was being ridiculous and that her daughter has had her period for 10 years and she knows what she's doing. When I told her it was making my sons uncomfortable, she said, my sons need to get a grip and turned over and went to sleep. <laughs> That's what I would do too. Like, seriously. Don't need, I don't have the time to worry right. about this bullshit. Yeah, fucking seriously. <laughs> this is a genuine issue to me <laughs> and she didn't care enough to have a discussion about it. What is there to say? You're like, an idiot. What is there, literally, what is there to say? I asked my stepdaughter again in the morning, but she did the same as her mother, completely dismissed it. I would have like punched his ass. Yeah, for real. Both of them have told me to stop being so silly, but I... <laughs> 
I don't see how I'm being unreasonable when it makes my sons uncomfortable. You need to have a conversation with your sons about women. Yeah, seriously. And teach them why this should not make you uncomfortable. uncomfortable. It is a natural part of life. In fact, you boys would not be here if it weren't was for the say, period. Uh-huh, yeah. Mm, shout out to periods. Yeah, shout out to periods. That's just like, That's I'm glad that she didn't get like, she's clearly like a strong enough person. That, yeah, because that could be really hurt as fuck if someone, and I would have been embarrassed. I would have been embarrassed and really upset so at that age. I would have probably cried if someone, totally. like, especially coming from a stepdad or something. Yeah, that's like, fucking weird. Like, and my sons are uncomfortable. And to be like, it's my house, what state? Like, she yeah. didn't have a choice to move Calling in. Her what the rough? Yeah, that's trash. She didn't have a choice to have a period. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she exactly. a choice to have a period. What the hell? Educate your sons better and make it so that it's not some creepy, like taboo thing. Like, oh, it's what happens. Yeah. And how about right. you? Why don't you just go buy another house then if it's such a big deal for you that you want deal. them to have separate bathrooms? Oh if my it's God. such a big issue that they can't share, you're the one making them share a bathroom. Too yeah. bad that they have. That's what you do in a bathroom. Well, it's Sorry. one thing if you would like, oh, she's leaving her tampons all over the fucking countertop like or something. Blood on or the like, ground. Yeah, like, okay, <laughs> no. yeah. I understand when you share a bathroom, you want to be respectful, but it's in the fucking trash. That's where it's supposed to be. You know, we have the Ziploc sandwich bag. He's right <laughs> under the sink. She could have grabbed one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't understand what's gonna do. That that's is not gonna the help. Like, all it's gonna do is cause more waste. <laughs> Maybe it contains the smell of them or something. Plus, it's just one. It's just one week. Like you boys can't like use the downstairs bathroom or whatever for that time being. Yeah, seriously. What the, maybe they only had one bathroom maybe in the house. They, yeah, well, he maybe. should let, he should share his bathroom with his sons then. That's if it's such an issue. Yeah, mm. Mm. you are the asshole. Definitely confirmed. Yeah. Definitely the asshole in this situation. And I would laugh and roll over and go to sleep too if you said that. There was an update on it. Oh, there's an oh, update? Oh, what's the update? Curly, can you read it? It said, not even two hours after I posted this, my wife and stepdaughter gathered my sons and I and gave us a full intensive periods for pricks course. <laughs> PowerPoint <laughs> and all. <laughs> Amazing. Um, uh, it was a hoot. They made an interactive quiz and everything. My sons and I learned a lot and apologized to my stepdaughter. Thank you for your input. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, Great update. And honestly, that's so funny that that's how they like, they yes. took it with humor. And we're like, all right, let's educate these people. Period for pricks. That is so funny. Okay. Well, I I'm like glad that. that you learned a lot because and he apologized. And he actually went back to the Reddit and was like, yeah, hmm, let me log on yeah. and share my new knowledge. <laughs> I love that. Great, you sir. Know, maybe you're, not, you. maybe such you're not such an asshole. I'm glad that you pointed that out, Carly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. And good for them for like taking it in a humorous route and like teaching them mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. I like that. Love that little educational good ending moment. for today. It is a good ending. <laughs> but that is going to be it for the sesh this yes. week. Be sure to let us know what you guys would like to see next week. We are looking for ideas. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We don't have anything planned yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing planned yet next week. Yeah, yeah let, so us, let know us know what we should do. If you have any updates or, or I mean, have any requests, updates. And obviously if there are updates, on any of the stories we covered, we will definitely talk about those as well. Yeah. See what, if any of the uh, David Doves. I really want Jeff's uh, new episode to come out. I know it hasn't come. It out. hasn't come out yet, so I we're kind of waiting what's on the that. hold up. Mm. I do too. Making me wonder, like, mm, are they having some hesitation about the mm. maybe the re-editing, going back to the drawing board a little bit yeah, on a few things? Maybe. Yeah, it's a bit of a cliffhanger. It's a Jeff left us wondering if his eye I, is permanently like damaged, damaged or gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. So we'll definitely have to see about that. Yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks for joining us on this episode of the Sesh. We really appreciate it. Be sure if you're on iTunes or Spotify to subscribe and follow us. That really helps us out a lot. YouTube views don't count as far as podcast performance. So we'd really appreciate that. And that's it for this week. We'll see you on the next session. But until then, keep, keep it, it fresh. fresh.